Hey everybody, Betsy with I Breathe I DIY here. Today we're going to be refinishing this curved cabinet. I started off by sanding all of the surfaces with a really fine grit sandpaper and then wiping off all of the dust. I decided to paint the inside of this with a nice bright turquoise for a nice pop of color. The only time I'll really ever see this is when the cabinet is open. I gave it two coats. I used latex paint during this tutorial. I'm painting the outside of the cabinet this dark gray. I end up giving it two coats. The reason I'm painting this base layer of paint is because I want it to over time wear and have more of an antique look, and this should do the trick. I actually tried to use one of the foam rollers uh, intended for smooth surfaces, but it left little bubbles all over the surface. And because I do need a smooth surface, I went ahead and pulled out my paintbrush. Using a small brush, I applied gold leaf adhesive to the outside surface. Sometimes this stuff is called sizing. Let it dry according to the package directions. In my case, it was about 30 minutes. And then you can start applying your silver leaf. Anytime that you use a leaf product, you wanna make sure that your hands are completely clean and dry. Very carefully, take the sheets of leafing out from between the sheets of paper and the packaging and lay one on the surface and smooth it out with a brush. Then you gently put another one as close to the seam as you can, right next to it, and then you smooth them out with the paintbrush. I would use a bigger paintbrush if I were you, but I didn't have one that I wanted to ruin with this adhesive. Just repeat the process of applying adhesive and then silver leaf and smoothing it all out until the whole thing's done. Work in small sections, that way if you get interrupted and you have to leave, you don't have to leave anything the way it is. The adhesive will actually dry out too much and you won't be able to get the leaf to stick to it correctly. When you've gotten all the silver leaf applied, you go back through with your brush and you rub the surface to get all of the extra flakes off. I used a total of four packages of the silver leaf on this. When I was finished, I coated the whole thing with a high gloss polyurethane, letting it dry. I mixed equal parts of glaze and latex paint together. Then I painted all on with a paintbrush into all of the deep spots and crevices on the cabinet. And then taking a clean, damp cloth, I wipe off all of the extra in all of the high spots so that it just leaves it in the relief. Whenever you use a glaze wash like this over top of a leaf surface, you just have to be extra careful that you get all the extra paint off, including the water drops, because they'll show in this mirrored surface. Only thing left is to add some sparkly handles. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on this wonderful silver leaf cabinet with glaze wash. I'm Betsy, and thanks for joining me again on I Breathe I DIY.